Hey YouTube, in place of a, of a review today, I'm going to be running through a couple of the pencils that I've acquired over the last few months that I, in most cases, have already reviewed either on my blog or here on the channel, but these are just recent acquisitions and I thought that I'd share them with everybody. And so we're going to start off with one that I found in an antique store. This is a brass twist mechanism mechanical pencil. At the antique store, it was marked as 1950s. I'm not really sure if it actually is 1950s. It could be a little bit older than that. It could be around that. It could be more modern. Um, it's definitely been used. It is a 1.15 millimeter mechanical pencil with a twist mechanism. And it came loaded with some lead. And whenever I buy from antique shops, shops I'm sure to make sure that I... Um, Test it to make sure that it works because I'm interested in functional pencils. So this one does indeed work. And so I got this, picked this up on my wife's birthday. I took her antiquing as, uh, for her birthday. And uh, I don't mind antiquing either because I search for mechanical pencils. And so I'm going to call this Brass Vintage Mechanical Pencil lightweight. I would argue that it's pocket safe. It's a nice little piece. It's very unique. I always like to search for antique pencils that are pretty unique. Next up, we have a common pencil. This is the uh, Pentel Sharp P209. I actually don't have any P209s. Well, now I do. I have this one. This is the classic color that the P209 comes in. This is a gold yellow. And I decided to... Uh, use this on the day in uh, my chemistry class in which we were talking about uh, introducing the periodic table. And the way that I introduce the periodic table is with uh, a video on how gold is mined and refined and extracted using chemical methods. And so it seemed appropriate that I would choose a yellow gold mechanical pencil for the day in which we were doing that. Uh, I rather enjoyed writing with the 0.9 millimeter lead. That kind of surprised me. I found it easier to keep my handwriting under control uh, while I was writing with the 0.9 millimeter lead. And so I think I'm going to give 0.9 millimeter a try uh, more extensively. Uh, next up, we have a Pentel Sharp Carry that I got a couple of weeks ago and I've been using ever since. This is one of the few, I think there's only two versions of the Sharp Carry that come in 0.7 millimeter lead. And so this is the dark, deep blue, the 0.5 millimeter Sharp Carry. The blue is a very light blue, almost a sky blue, I would venture. Not quite, it's, it's a little bit uh, uh, darker shade than that, but this comes in a really rich royal blue. Difficult to see the precise color on the video. If I bring it closer to the light, you can see it a little bit better. Um, most sharp carries come in 0.5, and this is a 0.7 millimeter. I guess I could get away with calling this royal blue as well. It's a very, it's a very French royal blue. I really like it. And then last but certainly not least, I have a Lamy box for you. We have a um, shop here in Omaha called The Gadgeteer. It's around 72nd and Dodge. And I really like it because they stock really nice mechanical pens and, uh, or pens and mechanical pencils. And they sell everything at retail, so it's a little bit expensive. But... They all they they afford me the ability to buy things at retail for mechanical pencils that I normally wouldn't have been able to, and it had been a long time since I had been in there. They're kind of hawkish in that they like watch you, and then they sort of give you this vibe like, "Why haven't you purchased anything?" I mean, they're not they're not mean or cruel. Um, I just get a really you know like I expect you to buy something vibe off of them. And the last time I was in there, I didn't purchase anything. And the Midwesterner in me, after being in here the second time, I couldn't leave the shop without purchasing something. But I did find a Lamy pencil that I had never seen before. Uh, well, I, I know this model, but I had never seen it in this variant. And this is the Lamy, comes in this interesting fold-out box. This is a Lamy logo 
in a brushed stainless steel. Now I've reviewed the logo on my blog. I haven't reviewed it here on the channel. You can head over to my blog, klexer.wordpress.com, if you'd like to check out my review of the Lamy logo. Um, it's a nice pencil. It's not in my top 10 or my honorable mentions because, the, in my opinion, the cost is a little bit prohibitive for what it is. Uh, this stainless steel variant I got for about 24 USD at the shop. I'm sure you could get it for less online, but uh, it's got a really unique styling. It has this brushed stainless steel, and then it has this nice uh, ribbing with polished stainless steel around where the grip is. And, of course, the Lamy logo is a retractable pencil. And so here we have the Lamy logo 0 0.5 millimeter in brushed stainless steel. Really elegant, looks like something awesome to have in your pocket. And uh, so I went ahead and picked it up. It's a nice piece. And so just thought I'd share some of my recent acquisitions uh, with you. Hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, feel free to leave questions in the comments. In sharing my hobby, I want to make sure that we're sharing what limited information there is out there about mechanical pencils. And many subscribers and uh, watchers of the videos often share interesting things and uh, tidbits of information that helps to educate me as well. And so feel free to comment and uh, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.